in the reality of things, the need for clarity doesn't always fall conveniently within the time that the clarity room is open. And this is where the rounds come into play. So part of the job of the hover level roles is to make informal rounds to each crew. So they're kind of walking from crew to crew or from line to line in a virtual setting. Now it's not a set time on anyone's calendar. Rounds are typically done in the morning to avoid any elongated impediments or blocks a crew might be experiencing. Now the intent of this daily rhythm is to provide any on-demand clarity the crew seeks or any on-demand clarity from the crew that the hover level roles seek, right? So it's a two-way exchange. It's a perpetual discovery ecosystem. Continual and circular clarity and alignment is happening to ensure no one is slowed or stuck. Now more importantly, this circular alignment and agreement better ensures that the end delivery is of high worth value to the consumer. If there is a gap or delay in flow in any way, on-demand clarity is sought out, either by the crew lead or a crew producer. Now, clarity can also be sought out by one of the hover level roles. A hover architect might answer simple questions around the nectar associated with the architectural stems, while a hover agile coach might answer questions around the process and flow of the work and offer to remove any hindrances that slow speed of delivery excellence or high worth value. Now let's go through some of the quick examples of how each of the hover level roles might interact with the crew. First, the consumer delegate. Now the hover consumer delegate might ask, for example, hey guys, uh, how's it going? You know, tell me more about your design choices for the sales dash dashboard. I'd, I'd really love to see some of your early thinking for possible solutions. Or maybe the architect is coming around from crew to crew, and he might you know, remind you know, crew number three that crew number one is working on VMware shared service specialist. And that work really has to be done before crew three can start on the dependency nectar in their feeder. So they're just kind of reminding the crew of those dependencies, talking back and forth. What about the Agile coach? The Hover Agile coach might ask the crew something like, hey, you seem to be spread too thin. How are you managing WIP amongst yourselves? Is there any way you can organize around uh, those kind of two top priorities and kind of get them banged out together before we move on to other work? What, what is getting in the way of, uh, of you doing that? So they're just simply asking those process type questions. Now, this daily symbiotic business and process involvement between the hover and the crews is like iron sharpening iron. This is not a judgment and a correction. It's curiosity encouragement and partnership. And it's almost impossible for crews to totally miss the mark uh, for the consumer uh, with this kind of focused push-pull relationship between the hover level roles and the crews themselves. Now a healthy culture will see crews that look forward to rounds and appreciate the interest and engagement in their work.